Okay, so you go to My School whenever you're doing a custom test or lesson, and there's custom tests. I'm now going to create a custom test in seconds from scratch. Click Add New, and then type the title of your test. And for this test, there we go. Um, I'm going to use the random test. Now there's lots of test types now. The random test based on terms is very fast to do. So literally here we are. Uh, let's type in the question as it were at the start of the test. And then I have to select each bit of the test. So I'm doing reverb, lots of choices, find the right one and hit, click on add and you add it to your list. You need a minimum of four different terms to make this test work. I've got five here. And then just hit publish test and you're done. Now for a test to reach a student, it has to be part of a lesson. So we've added this button here, use in new lesson. So click, click it first and then select the difficulty level of the particular test that you've done. Then select the class or classes that you want to be able to access this test and then type your intro to the lesson. So this is like what we're going to do for this lesson, blah, blah, blah. Um, then just check you've got the right test there, which you've just created and hit publish lesson. And that is as fast as that. Your custom lessons will always, the new ones will always be right down the bottom. But if you use these class settings here, as you can see, it makes the list longer or shorter. So it's easier to get to your lesson. Check it's the right one. And then what we're going to do here is set a notification. So click on the blue bell, choose your class, choose the date you want to start the work window as it were and choose the deadline. You can do it with these little buttons or the calendar that you just saw. When you're happy, go down and click save. You'll see that the uh, notification buttons turned yellow and the bell has turned red. Now the student will see this. This is a student logon and the first thing they see when they log into Focus on Sound is the work you've set them. If they click on that button, it takes them straight to the lesson. And you can see all the bits you've added earlier on. If they click start lesson and go, they're taking your test.